the range of storage and memory measurements. As we have seen from the previous video, there are different sizes of memory and it ranges from the smallest size up to the biggest size. Now the question is, do we have enough space? Well, let's start from the level of bit. Computer processes data at the level of bit where, where by the binary digits are used to represent the state of the system, whereby one represent that the system is active, and then zero represent the, the dormant status of the system. So the processor uses these binary bits, binary digits to interpret the information given to it. And the information is fetched in eight bits, and that eight bits represent a character because bit eight bits is equivalent to one byte, which is the standard for encoding a character digitally. So of the eight bits, it could be zero one zero one zero one zero or zero 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 or one zero one zero. So the processor uses that configuration to interpret what it means. Uh, for example, letter A, capital A, uh, 65, uh, 65 digits, I mean 65, is represented by 65 decimal. So when you change that 65 to decimal, it will become to binary. Then the processor will interpret that binary in order to understand what that means and then gives the output as A has been pressed. So from there, um, the, the standard organization standardized kilobyte. Kilobyte is two raised to the power of 10. And that 10 is the bit. The combination of two raised to the power of 10 gives us the smallest size of memory that a computer can have and the smallest unit of address in that memory is in byte so the processor accesses each character byte by byte you know and then after accessing it processes it bit by bit so 1024 became the base for measuring the sizes of files, folders, and directories. Now, when you multiply 1024 KB uh, times, I mean times kilobytes, you get megabyte. And then when you multiply 1024 times megabyte, you get gigabyte. And it continues like that to get terabyte, you multiply 1024 times gigabyte and to get term petabyte you have to multiply 1024 which is the base times terabyte in order to get uh, petabyte now to get the next one you need to multiply 1024 times petabyte in order to get exabyte and then to get the next one which is zettabyte, you have to multiply the base, which is 1024 times exabyte in order to get zettabyte. And it continues like that. To get yottabyte, you need to multiply 1024 times zettabyte in order to get yottabyte. And it continues to get brontabyte, you need to multiply 1024 times yottabyte times that in order to get brontabyte. It continues like that as the size continues, and that is the evolution of the size of memory and size of the hard disk. And the process will continue like that until we get to the bigger and much bigger geobyte, which is not even there as yet. But you use the same uh, procedure to get to geobyte. For example, you need to multiply 1024 times brontobyte in order to get geobyte. My friend, this is the evolution of the storage or uh, memory 
sizes, which define the size of the files, the folders, the directories we use currently. But the question remains, do we have enough space? Because currently, we don't have a zettabyte file system. We don't have a yottabyte file system. Zettabyte file system is there, but it has been a combination of, uh, of sizes to reach there. So currently, the world have only a zettabyte storage, but we haven't got zettabyte hard disk yet. The hard disk that we use now in the market, I think we have like a terabyte hard disk. I've never seen a petabyte hard disk. If you have it, lucky is you. <laughs> and that means you, are, you must be consuming a lot of information. And then uh, the Brontobyte and the Geobyte hard disk are not there. The, all these sizes are left for research purposes and maybe for future generations, as we have seen previously. So the question is, do we have enough space? That's the question we need to really ask. My friend, I'm stopping here right now. Thank you for viewing. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for coming all the way up to this point as we continue with our journey for understanding or to understand the files, folders, directories, which define the core of the digital uh, system. Thank you and happy learning.